Hey, Pastor Dan here from Dexter Gospel Church. Thanks for watching this Proverbs Practical. Today's proverb notes that the ideal woman isn't complacent about caring for her family. We're in Proverbs 31, verse 14. It says, She is like the merchant's ships. She brings her food from afar. So the ideal woman, she's hardworking. We've seen that already, and we're going to see that emphasized more and more as the passage goes along. But she's also enterprising. Merchant ships. They were a serious venture back then. It took a lot of work to equip and prepare one. They were very expensive to outfit and to send out. And using a merchant ship was a bold venture. It would range out from what was close or well-known and safe in the pursuit of profit and benefit. So instead of just settling for what was closest and easiest to feed her family or her household, the ideal woman would look out a ways. She would apply her mind as well as her body to the good of her husband and household. She would look for the best deals and best products. She was willing to go beyond her normal comfort zones. In their day, if you wanted a variety of food, you couldn't go to Meijer or Walmart or whatever and buy a thousand different kinds of food. They didn't have the transportation and preservation technologies we have today. If you wanted something different than what you and your neighbors were growing, you had to go get it or commission someone else to get it. Having variety was a mark of luxury, and she was willing to take that step and do that work. A willingness to take calculated risk like a merchant ship, to step outside our comfort zone, to go beyond the normal boundaries, to, to go the extra mile. These are the marks of the ideal woman. And again, I think these are traits that are ideal in any person. She has for her family what others do not because she was willing to do what others did not. She thought ahead of today. A, a merchant ship takes time to make its profit. It has to be sent out, and time passes before it comes back. She looked beyond her horizon to what lies beyond. And she didn't just dream. She went out and did on a practical, everyday level, and it led to the good of those who depended on her, rather than complacency that just said, well, we're not going to starve. Well, they've got food. They've got good enough. She did the best that she could, pursuing that beyond the normal boundaries and limits of what other people were willing to do. I hope this video is a blessing to you. If it is, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insight from the scriptures. Until next time, I hope you stay well. And go the extra mile for the people you care for.